Marcus Aurelius once wrote, when you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. In this light, how can we cultivate mornings that align with this stoic appreciation for life? Today, we present a morning routine rooted in the wisdom of stoicism to set the tone for a peaceful and purposeful day. Before we begin, I would appreciate if you liked the video so that you can help me to continue spreading the stoic philosophy. If you are not subscribed, I recommend you to subscribe and activate the bell so you don't miss any video. Number one, reflect on the transient nature of life. One of the foundational pillars of Stoic philosophy is the profound understanding and acknowledgement of the impermanent nature of all things. Every morning, before the world begins its cacophony, take a moment to immerse yourself in this truth. Find a quiet corner where you can sit undisturbed. Ensure your posture is relaxed yet upright a physical reflection of the balance you aim to achieve between calm and alertness. Close your eyes and visualize the vast expanse of the universe. Picture stars being born and dying, galaxies spinning in the dance of time. In this cosmic ballet, envision the Earth as a tiny dot. Within this dot, think of the rise and fall of civilizations, the mountains that have stood tall and the rivers that have carved paths. Now bring your focus closer and think of your own life a mere blink in the grand scheme of things. This visualization isn't to diminish our significance, but to understand the preciousness and brevity of our existence. Understanding life's transient nature serves as a poignant reminder. Firstly, it underscores the value of each day. When we truly grasp how fleeting our time is, we tend to prioritize what truly matters over trivial distractions and conflicts. Waking up with this mindset prepares you to navigate the day with a deeper sense of purpose. In essence, this morning ritual isn't about confronting mortality with fear but embracing the present with love, reverence and action. As Seneca so wisely said, life is long if you know how to use it. And so, by grounding our mornings in this practice, we remind ourselves to live each day fully, meaningfully and with grace. Number 2. Journal Your Thoughts the act of journaling, deeply rooted in Stoic practice, isn't just about recording events, but it's an intimate conversation with oneself. It's an act of introspection, of grounding, and at times of catharsis. The very act of translating thoughts to words on paper can be profoundly transformative. Start by choosing a journal that resonates with you. This could be a simple notebook, an ornate diary, or a digital document. This is your sacred space, devoid of judgment and external expectations. It's where your thoughts, raw and unfiltered, come to breathe. As you begin each morning, write down the first thoughts that come to mind. They could be remnants of dreams, lingering feelings from the previous day or anticipations about the day ahead. This initial spill helps clear mental clutter, much like sweeping the courtyard of fallen leaves. Next, shift your focus to gratitude. In the grand tapestry of life, it's easy to get ensnared in what we lack or what we desire. But Stoicism teaches us the value of appreciation for the present. List three things you're genuinely grateful for, whether it's the warmth of your blanket, a loved one's smile, or the mere privilege of waking up to a new day. Beyond gratitude, delve into self-reflection. Ponder on a Stoic principle or reflect on a personal challenge. Ask yourself questions. Am I living in alignment with my values? Where did I act out of impulse rather than reason yesterday? How can I be better today? This isn't an exercise in self-criticism, but rather one of self-awareness and growth. Lastly, set an intention for the day through your journal. Write down a simple affirmation or commitment based on the stoic virtues of wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. This serves as your moral compass, guiding your actions and decisions throughout the day. Remember your journal is a mirror reflecting your inner world. It's a tool, a friend, a mentor. Marcus Aurelius's meditations one of the most influential Stoic texts, started as his personal journal. They was his way of reminding himself of Stoic principles, of understanding his actions, and of navigating the complexities of life. Number three, set daily intentions, not goals. While both goals and intentions steer our path, they do so in fundamentally different ways. Goals inherently future-oriented focus on outcomes, achievements, and results. They provide a destination. Intentions, on the other hand, illuminate the journey. They are present moment anchors deeply rooted in our values and the person we aspire to be daily. Stoicism at its core emphasizes the distinction between what we can control and what we cannot. 
Goals often linked to external outcomes may sometimes fall outside our realm of control. Despite our best efforts, unforeseen obstacles can arise. Intentions, however, reside firmly within our dominion. They are daily affirmations of our personal values, a conscious choice of how we wish to navigate the world regardless of external circumstances. As you begin your morning, after having cleared your mind through journaling, reflect on the kind of day you wish to experience. Rather than focusing on tasks to be accomplished, ask yourself, who do I intend to be today? Do you intend to be patient, embracing each moment as it comes without rushing through it? Do you intend to be compassionate both towards yourself and others, understanding that everyone is fighting their own battles? Or perhaps you intend to be courageous, confronting challenges head on and stepping out of your comfort zone? Write down these intentions. They might look like, today I will listen more than I speak. I will approach conflicts with understanding, or I will find moments of stillness amidst the chaos. These aren't tasks to be ticked off, they are reminders of the character you aspire to embody. As Seneca beautifully put it, it does not matter what you bear, but how you bear it. Intentions are our daily compass in this endeavor. They guide our reactions, decisions and behaviors. More than just passive aspirations, they become active choices that shape our day. By setting daily intentions, you are committing not to outcomes but to virtues. You're not defining success by what you achieve, but by how you act, respond, and exist in the world. It's a profound shift in perspective, aligning perfectly with stoic wisdom and ensuring that regardless of the day's unpredictability, you have a clear vision of your personal journey. Number four, embrace discomfort. In our modern world, comfort has become an expectation, a yardstick of progress. Yet the Stoics, with their profound wisdom, recognized that the unchallenged pursuit of comfort could be a hindrance to personal growth. They believed in the deliberate practice of introducing small discomforts as a means to fortify the spirit, cultivate resilience, and ensure one's preparedness for the inevitable adversities of life. The Stoic philosopher Seneca once advised, set aside a certain number of days during which you shall be content with the scantiest and cheapest fare, with coarse and rough dress, saying to yourself the while, is this the condition that I feared? The essence behind this was not to promote needless suffering, but to break the chains of dependency on external comforts and to remind ourselves of our innate strength. As you start your day, think of small ways to introduce voluntary discomfort. Maybe it's taking a cold shower to jolt you awake and invigorate your senses. This act not only promotes physical alertness, but serves as a metaphorical baptism, washing away the inertia and reminding you of your capacity to endure and thrive. Or perhaps it's choosing to skip that first cup of coffee, reminding yourself that your will and drive come from within, not from external stimulants. You could also consider more reflective practices, like setting aside 10 minutes to meditate on a past hardship, recognizing the strength you displayed and the growth that emerged from it, or choosing to walk or bike to work instead of driving, allowing yourself to be present in the environment and embracing the physical exertion as a testament to your body's capabilities. The purpose here is twofold. First, these daily acts of discomfort serve as training for the mind and spirit, much like an athlete trains the body. By regularly stepping out of our comfort zones in small ways, we prepare ourselves for life's larger, unforeseen challenges. Secondly, they provide perspective. By occasionally foregoing certain comforts, we learn to appreciate them more when we have them and understand they aren't the cornerstones of our happiness or contentment. In embracing discomfort, you're not punishing yourself. You're empowering yourself. You're tapping into a deeper reservoir of strength, shedding unnecessary dependencies and embracing a stoic sense of freedom that comes from realizing that true contentment is independent of external conditions. Number five, practice mindfulness and meditation. While Stoicism and mindfulness may hail from different cultural roots, ancient Greece for the former and Eastern traditions for the latter, they converge beautifully in their focus on living a centered, purposeful life. The Stoics were profoundly attuned to the nature of the present moment. They believed that most human suffering arises from either dwelling on the past or anxiously anticipating the future. Epictetus wisely stated, men are disturbed not by things, but by the views which they take of them. In this, he alluded to the importance of our perceptions and the power of the present moment. Begin your morning with a dedicated space for mindfulness or meditation. This doesn't necessarily mean sitting in a lotus position or chanting mantras, unless that's what resonates with you. It's about grounding yourself in the here and now. Find a quiet spot, 
and adopt a comfortable posture. Close your eyes and draw your attention inward. Start by simply observing your breath, feeling the rise and fall of your chest or the sensation of air entering and leaving your nostrils. Your breath, ever present, serves as an anchor to the current moment. When your mind wanders, as minds often do, gently bring your attention back to your breath without judgment. Once settled, expand your awareness to the sensations in your body. Feel the weight of your body against the chair or floor. Notice the temperature of the room, the feeling of fabric against your skin. Recognize these sensations without attaching a narrative to them. They just are. Then, gently transition to observing your thoughts and emotions, visualizing them as leaves floating on a stream or clouds drifting across the sky. The key here is detachment. You're the observer, not the participant. This practice aligns seamlessly with the stoic emphasis on distinguishing between events and our judgments about them. Dedicate the final moments of your meditation to reflect on a stoic tenet or quote. For instance, you could ponder on Marcus Aurelius's words, the universe is change, our life is what our thoughts make it. Let this wisdom infuse your being, guiding your actions and reactions for the day. Incorporating mindfulness and meditation into your morning routine is more than a calming ritual. It's a stoic exercise in recognizing and cherishing the present discerning between external events and internal responses, and cultivating a mental fortress of equanimity against the uncertainties of life. Number six, revisit Stoic teachings. The profound wisdom encapsulated in Stoic teachings offers a timeless compass for navigating life with grace, resilience, and purpose. However, these teachings are not mere words to be read once and forgotten. They are seeds of wisdom that require consistent attention to flourish within us and manifest in our daily actions. Every morning, Make it a ritual to immerse yourself in the wisdom of the Stoic masters. This could be the reflective introspections of Marcus Aurelius, the enlightening and comforting letters of Seneca, or the pragmatic discourses of Epictetus. Rather than simply reading through these works as you would any other book, approach them with reverence and intention. You might start by letting serendipity guide you, randomly selecting a passage from a Stoic text, or utilizing a dedicated Stoic daily meditation book. This approach has a certain magic to it, often leading you to a piece of wisdom that feels uncannily pertinent to your present circumstances or the day ahead. Once you've settled on a passage, take a moment to truly be with it. Read it carefully, letting each word, each sentiment, resonate deeply within. Digest its essence, visualize its message, and ponder upon its implications. How does this wisdom relate to your life? What universal truths does it echo? After this period of contemplation, you might feel inspired to jot down your reflections. Journaling is more than just putting pen to paper. It's a meditative act of translation, converting the wisdom of the ancients into a personal doctrine. As you write, you might discover new layers to the teaching, perhaps seeing it in the light of a recent experience or foreseeing its relevance in an anticipated event. But Stoicism is, above all, a philosophy of action. So the true culmination of this morning ritual lies in its application. If today's teaching speaks of the transience of life, let it inspire you to cherish every moment. If it touches upon the insignificance of external opinions, wear it as a shield against unwarranted criticisms or praises. Every Stoic teaching in essence is a call to action, a prompt to infuse your day with virtue and wisdom. And if you're fortunate enough to share this Stoic journey with friends or a community, consider discussing these teachings with them. Engaging in such dialogues, sharing personal insights and hearing varied interpretations can amplify the depth of your understanding and foster a sense of communal growth. In essence, revisiting Stoic teachings each morning isn't just an exercise in reading. It's a daily renewal of a commitment to live with awareness, intention, and virtue. As the Stoics remind us, the true essence of learning is not just in understanding, but in embodying and living the wisdom. Number seven, practice Amor Fati. In the vast tapestry of Stoic wisdom, there lies a golden thread, a principle so deeply profound yet disarmingly simple, amor fati, or the love of one's fate. This is not a call to passive resignation, but rather a passionate embrace of whatever life brings, be it joy or sorrow, triumph or tribulation. Every morning as the sun ushers in a new day, we are also greeted by the uncertainties of life. Plans might go astray, hopes might be dashed, or unforeseen challenges might emerge. It's in these moments that the stoic principle of Amor Fati beckons us. It invites us to not merely accept, 
but to wholeheartedly love whatever comes our way. Imagine for a moment the freedom and liberation that this perspective offers. When faced with adversity instead of lamenting, why is this happening to me? You might ask, how can I grow from this? Or even affirm, this is exactly what I needed. Such a shift doesn't trivialize the weight of hardships. Rather, it illuminates the silver linings, the lessons, and the strength that emerges from them. To practice Amor Fadi in the mornings, take a few moments to mentally prepare for the day ahead. Reflect upon potential challenges you might encounter. Visualize them not as hindrances, but as necessary components of your journey, handpicked by the universe to refine and define your character. Remember the words of Marcus Aurelius, the impediment to action advances action, what stands in the way becomes the way. In the embrace of Amor Fati, every event, no matter how trifling or monumental, is seen as a brushstroke in the masterpiece of our lives. It's an empowering reminder that we are not mere puppets of fate, but active participants who possess the alchemy to transform every circumstance into an opportunity for growth, wisdom, and gratitude. As you step into your day, carry this philosophy with you. Let Amor Fati be your compass, guiding you through storms with resilience, through sunny days with gratitude, and always forward with unwavering love for the journey that is life. The wisdom of Stoicism isn't about suppressing emotions or adopting a life of austerity. It's about understanding the nature of existence, focusing on what's within our control, and cultivating an inner citadel of peace. While these seven practices offer a structured path, let Stoicism be fluid in your life, adapting and evolving to your personal needs. After all, as Marcus Aurelius noted, the best revenge is not to be like your enemy. Don't be the adversary to your own peace and well-being. Which one of these will you incorporate in your morning routine? Comment down below. I hope you enjoyed the video and I am thankful for you joining us. And until next time, immerse in these stoic practices and let them transform your mornings, days and ultimately your life.